Hello mga bata! It's me again, Ma'am Lara. For today's video, pag-aaralan natin ang percentage, rate, and base. Simulan natin sa pagbibigay ng kahulugan ng bawat isa gamit ang given problem na ito. Jenny's daily allowance is 50 pesos. She spends 15 pesos for snacks. This is 30% of her daily allowance. Percentage. It is the number or the amount that represents a part of a whole. Parte ng kabuuan. Sa given problem, ang ating percentage ay 15 pesos. Rate. It is the number compared to 100. It is usually having either a percent sign or the word percent with it. Ito ang pinakamadaling i-identify sa lahat. Hanapin lang natin yung may percent or word na percent. Sa given problem, ang rate natin ay 30%. Base. It is the number that represents the whole or the entire amount. Ito yung kabuuan. Sa given problem, ang ating base ay 50 pesos. Thirty percent of fifty is fifteen. Thirty percent is our rate. Fifty is our base, and fifteen is our percentage. Of means multiply, and is means equals. So our formula is percentage equals rate times base, or P equals R times B. From this formula, we can now generate formula for finding the rate and base. Or mas madaling gamitin ang Tekan's Triangle. Kapag kailangan nating hanapin si percentage, takpa natin ang P, rate times base. Kapag kailangan naman nating hanapin ang value ng rate, takpa natin ang R. Percentage divided by base. Kapag naman base ang nawawala, takpan ang B. Percentage divided by rate. Para mas maintindihan, magkakaroon tayo ng mga examples. Example number 1. 75% of 80 is N. Isa-isahin natin ang mga given batay sa ating mga clues. 75% is our rate. Of means multiply. Tandaan natin, si of, lagi niya katabi si base. So, 80 is our base. Is means equals. And N is our percentage. So, tandaan din natin na si percentage, katabi niya lagi si is. So, si base, ang katabi niya si of. Si percentage, katabi niya si is. So, 75% times 80 equals percentage. So, ang missing value natin dito ay si percentage. So, bago tayo mag-solve, we need to express this 75% as decimal number. Remember, percent is 1 part in every 100. So, kailangan muna natin i-divide si 75% sa 100 or simply move the decimal point twice to the left. So, si 75% magiging 0 0.75 times 80. So, 0 0.75 times 80 is equal to 60. So, 75% of 80 is 60. So, using proportion naman tayo. So, 75% of 80 is N. So, i-identify muna natin kung sino si percentage, si rate, at si base. So, 75% is our rate. Of natin means multiply. 80 is our base. 
is means equals n is our p so sa ating proportion p is missing so doon sa una nating pagsosolve si 75% ginagawa nating decimal so gagawin natin siyang fraction so 75 over 100 then missing value natin ay si p so ang n natin dito ay yung nasa taas at ang nasa baba natin ay si B, which is 80. So, yung rate equals ng percentage divided by base. So, ginawa lang natin siyang proportion. So, same procedure yung gagawin. So, cross multiply 75 times 80 equals 100 times n. So, 75 times 80 is 6,000. 100 times n is 100 n. So, para mawala si 100, ma-eliminate siya at matira si letter n, divide both sides by 100. So, 100 divided by 100 is 1. So, matitira si n. So, 6,000 divided by 6,000 divided by 100 is 60. So, ang value natin for n is 60. Same answer na nakuha natin sa solution natin sa nauna. Example number 2. 36 is what percent of 80? So, batay sa ating clue, Si is ay laging katabi si percentage. So, 36 is our percentage is means equals what percent is our rate of means multiply 80 is our base. So, tandaan lagi si of, katabi lagi si base. So, ang missing value natin dito ay si rate. What is our formula for finding the rate? Rate equals percentage divided by base. So, rate equals 36 divided by 80. So, remember, 36 is our dividend, 80 is our divisor. So, si 36 ang nasa loob, si 80 ang nasa labas. So, kapag dinivide natin si 36 by 80, our answer is 0 So, hindi ko na pinakita yung process ng division para mas mabilis tayo. So, siya ay naka-decimal. Dahil yung rate ang hinahanap natin, i-express natin ang 0.45 to percent. So, ita times natin siya sa 100 or simply move the decimal point twice, dalawang beses, papunta sa kanan. So, 0.45 magiging 45%. So, 36 is 45% of 80. Okay, using proportion naman tayo. So, 36 is what percent of 80? So, 36 katabi ni is. So, so siya si P. Is means equals. What percent rate of means multiply. 80 is our base. So, same pa rin ng procedure. So, rate. Dahil si rate ang nawawala, so, siya na ngayon si letter N. So, magiging N over 100. Equals, so, si percentage natin ay si 36. Ang base natin ay si 80. So, cross multiply, N times 80 equals 
100 times 36. So, 80 times n is 80n equals 100 times 36 is 3,600. So, para ma-eliminate si 80 sa tabi ni n, divide both sides by 80. So, n is equal to 45. So, dahil rate ang nawawala, so n is equal to 45%. Next example, 40% of a number is 250. So, 40% is our rate of means times tandaan si of katabi ni base so yung a number is our base is means equals 250 is our percentage so the missing value here is the base so anong formula natin sa base base equals percentage divided by rate so, base equals 250 divided by 40%. So, tandaan natin, si 40%, kailangan natin siyang i-express as decimal. So, 40% magiging 0.40 or 0.4. So, imumove lang natin ng dalawang beses yung decimal point to the left. So, pag naman naka-decimal, gagawin yung percent to the right naman dalawang beses. So, bakit siya 0.4? Tinanggalan natin yung 0 na nasa huli. Okay. So, divide natin 250 divided by 0.4. So, tandaan natin si 250 ang dividend nasa loob. 0.4 nasa Labas. So, 250 divided by 0 0.4 is equal to 625. So, our answer is 40% of 625 is 250. So, using proportion tayo, 40% of a number is 250. 40% is our rate of means times. So, katabi lagi ni of si base is means equals 250 is our percentage. So, ang ating rate ay 40. So, 40 over 100 equals percentage 250 over base. So, siya ang N. Okay, cross multiply 40 times n equals 100 times 250. 40 times n is 40n equals 100 times 250 is 25,000. So, para ma-eliminate si 40 at matira si n, divide both sides by 40. So, 40n divided by 40 is n equals 25,000 divided by 40 is 625. So, sana natulungan ko kayo sa topic na to at magkita-kita ulit tayo sa susunod na video. Stay safe, God bless! Thank you! Bye-bye!